Hey everybody, it's flu season and we know what that means. Lots of coughing, lots of uh, uh, fevers and not feeling so good. Um, but worse yet, we also have the coronavirus going around with all kinds of stuff in the air. You never know what you're going to come in contact with. Uh, we're all busy, we're all out in public, um, and we all feel under the weather. So what's really the best way to protect yourself um, from some of these airborne diseases? Um, it's simple. Put a mask on. I got a few right here. We got N95s, we got respirators, we, we got all kinds of stuff to protect ourselves with. So which one really is the best one? Oh, we're going to talk just a little bit about that today. Um, I'm John Lee. I'm with AFC International. Uh, you may not know me. I'm usually on the other side of the lens. Um, but we're, we're switching a few things up. Um, so about me. I've been with AFC for a little over a year. Um, I'm a retired firefighter paramedic. Um, been in the medical world for a little over a decade before I came here. Um, usually you hear me on the other end of the, uh, the phone um, with the sales department, customer service. Um, I'm usually the one sending you quotes and uh, trying to get you back to uh, uh, service uh, when you got bad sensors and, and things that go wrong. Um, but anyways, before that, before I was even in the fire service, I was in the Marine Corps. Um, did a couple tours overseas and was the CBRN uh, chief for the company. So I've been a lot around, I've been, for years I've been, I've been dealing with these respirators um, and how to protect your, your lungs from everything that's out there that could hurt us. Um, so real quick, let's go in, let's talk about N95 masks. Um, we've got a couple here. We've got a 3M and we got one of those Draegers. These aren't bad. I mean, they, they, for the most part, they do the trick. Um, they're very cheap. That's the really nice thing about an N95. Um, they don't really cost that much. But you do got to replace them quite often. After a while, they get real dirty. Uh, can't breathe through them through well. They're not always the most comfortable. Um, but they don't give you the best protection. Uh, why do they call it an N95? They only, they only stop 95%. There's other options out there. So let's let's throw that Draeger one away and yeah, let's throw a 3M out of the way too. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. Now, I love this mask. This is a GBS Ellipse P100. Um, I've worn these myself. I know even with the beard, um, probably not the best thing to do, but it worked for, for my occasion. Uh, and I wasn't dealing with a whole lot of toxic stuff, so that was all right. So yeah, here's, here's what we recommend. Very nice little mask. They're compact and they have all kinds of different uh, um, applications you can use it. So it's not just medical, it's not just to fight against the coronavirus or the flu virus. Um, you can use these in mining. If you're working with concrete around silica, um, these are great for the fire DMS because they're nice and small. They go right into your cargo pocket. Um, you can pop these out. Um, deal with fentanyl. You know, there's a fentanyl problem. Pull out your P100, throw it on, it's going to protect it from any uh, exposures um, to, to the fentanyl. Um, steel mills is another big one, put these in asbestos, um, different glasses and, and heavy metal. So there's, there's quite a bit of applications you can use this with. Now with the N95, like I said, it's, it's stop at 95%. Um, with these P100s, uh, it's going to be a little more efficient. The efficiency is up to 99.97%. Um, pretty good, a lot better than an, uh, an N95. Now, like I said before, the N95s, they're a little cheaper. Um, the throw away, obviously you don't want to throw this away, um, but the cost of these are really low, and the cost uh, over time is going to save you a lot of money, where you may be going through three, four, five, maybe in six N95s a day. Um, you only have one of these. You put this on, it's good for weeks before you have to change any filters. Uh, you can see they have you have your filters on the side here, and then a nice big exhalation port. Um, very, very comfortable. Um, it's a, a silicone-free uh, mask, hypoallergenic. Um, nice low profile, so if you're a welder and you wear a welding hat, these will fit very comfortably under your welding hat. Not going to really get any uh, fogging of your safety glasses um, or regular glasses if you're going to wear these because of this exhalation port. Um, it does meet the OSHA uh, silica dust standard. Um, it has a uh, NIOSH approval, um, and then for the back and the, and the meat and potatoes up, so it's got a, a nice strap. Now you can see right in here, you got a little bit of a rubber piece that's going to help hold that on your head. And speaking from experience, it does. It, once you tighten that down, it does create a nice seal, um, and these straps don't go nowhere. Um, you can do heavy work, you can do light work, and you're going to be pretty comfortable with this the whole time. Uh, reusable. Uh, replaceable filters, they do have an odor resistant uh, charcoal line filter. 
Um, that's just going to cut down on some of the odors that you may be, may be working with. Um, storage life is about five years, um, is what the factor's saying on these. Um, cost point, uh, you're looking right around the $25, $30 mark MSRP for these. Uh, of course, AFC is going to give you some discounted pricing on these. Um, you got a little case. Um, now, the case does not come with it. Um, case is right around that $10 mark um, extra. I wish they came with it, but they just don't package it. Um, again, very nice uh, little mask. Great for uh, the replacement for an N95. Works great in hospitals, fire service. Um, if you're a police officer, let's say these, these will do real good for you. If you have any questions for us, give us a call, 1-800-952-3293. Uh, we're also over social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn, so look us up. Um, connect with us. Uh, we do all kinds of different videos. Um, we're all about education here, uh, so we're, we're always putting something on. Um, so again, yeah, if you have any questions, give us a call.